In this video, I would like to show you how to discover if there are any optional quality updates available for Windows 10 and how to download and install them. It's quite simple. You click on your start button, go to the little gear icon on the left where it says settings. You're going to choose update and security and then make sure that you're on the Windows update tab. Uh, choose that on the left. And then uh, you may see a series of updates coming in uh, dynamically, automatically uh, at the top. But below that list, if, if such a list is there, you may see a uh, optional quality update being available or uh, it may be labeled something different. There's, there's a range of updates that don't come in automatically that kind of wait there in a queue. Uh, for some time, giving you the option to adopt them early, that kind of thing. So in this case, it's an optional quality update, and uh, this is for the Windows 10 version 20H2. And to download and install it, of course, all you have to do is click on download and install. And then it'll move into the list up at the top and start processing. Other things that you may want to consider uh, while well, that's running there, is if you click on Advanced Options, you can choose to receive updates for other Microsoft products, such as Microsoft Office. Always good idea to keep Microsoft Office updated if it's something that you use, right? If you are uh, using metered connections, if you pay, uh, you know, per megabyte or gigabyte for your data, uh, you know, usually that's over Wi-Fi, etc. But um, you may want to turn on updates over that metered connection if you feel that uh, you can afford to have uh, you know, unknown amounts of data flowing into your computer. Uh, if you want to keep your budget uh, under control more, you can keep that off, of course. Uh, this other option here, restart this device as soon as possible when a restart is required. Um, some people really hate the fact that Windows updates come in and restart your computer randomly. Usually that uh, updating happens late at night if you leave your computer on, right? And you'll just kind of wake up in the morning and find that your computer has rebooted. Um, but if you like the fact that uh, Windows can just boot and update and get things over with, you can turn on restart this device as soon as possible. And then I, I, a notice will appear in the center of your screen saying that it would like to turn on uh, or, or restart, I should say. And uh, it gives you a bit of time to cancel or delay that, right? But, but otherwise, if you're not present or if you feel that that's fine, you can just let it do its thing, right? And then uh, this one, uh, show a notification when your PC requires a restart. It's just a little bit more informative about when restarts are going to happen, etc., and about giving you a chance to reschedule them. So uh, probably in most cases, I would have this one on and the top one on and leave the other two off.